that you guys were choosing over medical if you guys get to set up one of our hospital beds at home these are the items that you should be looking for uh head footboard the hospital bed itself some half rails your gel overlay and the mattress uh we'll see you soon and we're back so these are the type of items that you should be looking for after everything is unboxed you should be looking for the head section uh, I left this purposely in there so you guys would know that uh, it's just for shipping purposes. That has nothing to do with the bed, the assembly, and whatnot. This is going to be your high-low bar. This is going to be your foot section. And if you can take a look at the actual bed, everything is labeled from the head section to the foot section to the head and footboard here. If you have a small stick say like head and foot, obviously the foot section is going to have a crank just in case it doesn't come with stickers. Also, with this bed kit, you're going to receive your wheels for your head and uh, footboard, your hospital motor here, and your individual half wheel rails that we'll teach you guys how to go over. And also, you're going to get a set of stickers that you need to put on the head and footboard of the hospital bed. This shipping bar is just by kicking it slightly. And it just comes off just like that. You don't need this. You can actually throw this away, recycle it, whatever you want to do. Uh, the way, the easiest way to do this is bring these two head section and foot section together. Walk behind it. You're going to have two hooks on the head section right here and right there. And all you got to do is align this together just like so. Make sure that, you know, it's in. And then you just open up the bed. Uh, the next step would be uh, make sure you have this chain link connected. Right after this, you're going to grab your mortar. And the easiest way to tell what's the head and foot, if you take a look at the pictures here, Obviously, this means that would be the head section. This would be the foot section. So, you just go back to your labels, just in case you forget. Close this up a bit. Open up these little tabs. And all you got to do is make sure it goes on into these grooves. It clicks off. And then you slide this back on do the same thing for the foot section and at this point you can go ahead and lay your bed down with that being done you're going to grab your wheels you have one set of locking wheels and another set of regular wheels. These are the locking wheels. And then these will be your regular wheels. We're going to go back to the footboards and headboard. You grab one locking wheel. And then the other one that's not locking. Just like that. Same thing with the foot. And make sure that your locking wheels are opposite from each other. So if you put this one on this side, you put the locking wheel on the other side. And then you'll grab your footboard. You will set it down just like this. You're gonna grab the whole frame, bring it up and make sure that that lines up. Just like that. Same thing with the head section. And that's how you set up the head and the footboard. You're gonna grab your high low bar. You have different settings here, uh, semi, EXT, which is with the extension kit, semi, full extension and full. If uh, you grab your other part of the rail, you have a button here, 
Make sure you put this inside and choose the correct setting. Obviously, this is going to be a semi, so you'll come in here. Uh, make sure that you put uh, the high low bar in this groove of the footboard, right here where my finger's pointing, just like that. And you do the same for the head section. And there you go. These are going to be your half rails. Make sure you take the wrapper out. There's going to be a small zip tie with the clamp on. Make sure uh, you cut that off. And you remove the cardboard from the actual rail. Where you're going to set these up, make sure you unscrew this. Now you're gonna have this plastic bushing. You have two different size holes. Make sure that when you're putting it on the clamp, the smaller one goes in first. If you do it the other way, it's not gonna work properly. It's not gonna clamp on the way it's supposed to. Once you have this apart, you're gonna grab this, put the hook through this hole opening here, just like that. You're gonna grab your bushing. Like I said, small hole goes in first. Grab your knob here and you twist about like five twists then we go back here you're gonna count three of these springs and then that's where you want to set your clamp so from here it'll be like one two three and this will go at the bottom this will clamp on with two fingers you're gonna hold it from the bottom just like that you're gonna screw on till it's tight Now to uh, make sure that the rail is working properly, you're gonna have a wide knob here. If you pull this, the rail should slide down. To lock it back up, what you gotta do is pull up and hear the click, just like that. You do the exact same thing on the second side. Make sure you come in in an angle. This goes up. The bottom clamp is hooked up like this. That's when you're gonna grab your fingers, hold it tight and just twist until it's, your half rail is tight. And at that point, you can let go and just keep on tightening. And that's how you set up the half rail. Uh, once you have your mattress set on your bed, you can remove the plastic. We're just doing this for training purposes, but this is gonna be your gel. All you gotta do is cut this open, open all the box together. Uh, your gel is gonna come wrapped in a plastic bag. And the easiest way to do this is get this close to the bed, tilt it like that in an angle, and just take it up from the bottom, and the whole gel comes out. You remove the plastic sleeve that it comes with, and then make sure that the Medline logo is at the foot section of the bed, just like that. With these straps here, you're gonna strap it over the mattress in all four angles. Just like that. So this gel overlay, what this gel overlay is designed to do is to conform to the patient's body. Over time, some people find it very uncomfortable and comfortable. Per the manufacturer, what the recommendation is to remove these straps if the patient finds this uncomfortable, just like that, and you fold it back up. And you leave it set like this for eight hours so we can uh, go back to its original form. Now that your bed is completely set up, uh, make sure that your motor is connected to an outlet uh, close to the bed. Um, and we're going to check the functions of the, of the actual bed. This is going to be your hand controller in the back of it. You could always bring that out, push that in, and then it's easier for you to hang the remote on the side of the bed, whichever side you choose to. Um, every, all these buttons have a picture, and everything at the top will make the bed go up. Everything at the bottom will make it go down. So, for example, top left will raise up the head section. 
the one underneath will bring it down. Top right will bring up the foot section, just in case the patient needs to have the legs elevated while they sleep. The one underneath it brings it down. Now the middle button, what that does, it brings up the head and the foot at the same time, just like that. And the bottom one will bring it down. Once you've done that, uh, this is gonna be the lowest setting on the hospital bed. If you need to raise up the patient, make it easy for you to transfer the patient in and out of bed, you will just cut this out. And with this handle, you will just bring this up. If you crank to the right, the whole bed itself goes up. If you bring crank it to the left, it brings down the bed. Just like that, whenever you're done cranking it, you'll just fold this crank and tuck it in.